Hey everybody, it's me, Teddy's Easy Recipe. I am back. Today I'm going to do me an easy recipe. I'm just going to make a short video. I'm using pizza crust. I'm going to make a pizza bread, okay? So since I haven't been on in a while, I figured I'd come on and um, do a quick video for everybody. Sorry I haven't been on. Everybody knows that my husband has Alzheimer's and I've been dealing with him, taking care of him, so... Yeah, and let's just let me grab in here. Oh, I was gonna put some. Okay, just bear with me, everybody. All right, we're gonna start. We're gonna do a quick video. This is a quick video. We're gonna start. Use one of these if you have one of these. Use one of these if you don't. That's fine. Get a pair of scissors. You want to cut your crust up and put it in your in the pan, okay? Or you can you can cut it up. You can cut it or chop it, however you want. I find it easier to cut it with the scissors. <laughs> I find it easy. Oh, I don't want to cut my finger off. How's everybody been? Happy New Year's to everyone, and a Merry Christmas. It's kind of late, but better late than not. Okay, this is what we're doing, all right? You don't have to butter your pan if you don't want. You don't have to butter it. You don't have to butter it. This is how it's going to look in the inside. You don't have to butter it, all right? So, then we're going to put some pepperoni in it. This is a very simple recipe. You keep it in the oven for 45 minutes to an hour. It depends on how your oven actually works, okay? It depends how your oven. My oven is electric, so it runs kind of crazy. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna try to get this. You can cut these just in half. You don't have to cut them in a lot of pieces. <laughs> I made one of these. I made one of these not too long ago for my for my son, and um, I didn't take this little packet out. I baked it with it in there, but it's only seasoning, so it's nothing. To, he called, thought he was dying. Called me, Mom. What you you left that packet in there? What was it? Nothing. Nothing to get alarmed about. So yeah, you want to cut this. I'm gonna put your pepperoni. You can put the whole pack in when you, or you can put um, less. I put the whole pack in. If you like pepperoni, put it in. The less pepperoni, the less salty it is. Because everybody knows pep. Oops, it went down the middle. Everyone knows pepperoni is salty. We all know that. Pepperoni is salty, so the more pepperoni you put in it, the more saltier, the saltier it is, okay? The saltier it is. Okay. So this is what it's going to look like. Just, just scattered. And then we want to put, we want to put cheese in it. Mozzarella. When you're putting the cheese in, it's going to probably fall in between the hole in between this hole right here but okay what I do is I put some in take it up mix it oh mix it around you kind of want to mix it all right yeah. you kind of just want to mix it and that's what it's going to look like because you're mixing it. All right. So the first, I put in like about a little under a half a cup, over a cup of cheese. So you put two cups of cheese in it. Depends on how you, how much cheese you like and what you like, okay? And the, like I said, it's going to fall in between the hole while you're doing it. But it's okay. It's okay. It's so okay. 
So you could just pick it up. I just put that bread back in there. Your sink is clean and everything, so it's not like it's not like you have a like your sink is dirty when you're cooking it, so it's okay if it falls on there. Alright? So that's what it is. And then we're gonna put butter in it. Yep. That's two tablespoons of butter. And what we're gonna do is, this is optional. You don't have to put garlic on it, but I don't want the garlic taste. So we're gonna put garlic in it, okay? And that's like three cloves. Just three cloves. I have a I have a garlic crusher, so it's easier for me to do it like that. So, yep. That's it. That's it. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little more cheese on it. So you're putting like two and a half cups of cheese in it. Put the cheese in however you want. Just make sure your dough's on the bottom. You put your pepperonis in it and you kind of mix it a little. You mix it a little, okay? And then you put um, more cheese on it. That's it, and I'm gonna come back and show you. I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like when it is um when it is done. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do to it. You're gonna put your your crust in there, and then chop up your pepperonis. Then throw some cheese on it, toss it a little bit, and the cheese doesn't have to go on the bottom or anything. Just toss it, just move it around so your pepperonis are going between the bread and stuff so it's mixed a little, okay? And then you put the cheese on it. All right, I'm gonna put it in the oven. It's in the oven. So as soon as it's done, I will come back and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, everybody, I am back. I am back. So let's get this out of the oven. Okay. All right. Yes. We got it out of the oven. And it is hot. It is hot. I am going to use this to pick it up. Not my pot holders because my pot holders are too thick. But anyways, let's show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like. All right. Here we go. All right. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over. Flip it, flip it, flippy floppy. All right. And there we go. Okay, remember, this is what you use. I didn't put no butter in it because I was going to put a little butter around it. So this is what we use. It makes its own butter. And this is it. This is it. Some parts probably didn't rise higher because there was less dough over there. But that's not a big problem. So if you want to make this like for a um, little get-together or something, you also want to get pizza sauce. I get this kind because this is the best. Classical pizza sauce. So, and what we're going to do is, you're going to stick it in the middle. Yeah, put it in between. And there we go. All right, and then you're going to slice it, okay? I'm going to put, I'm going to take a picture of it first. And then, um, take a picture of it and post it. But also... I wanted to show you while you are making this 
you can add, sprinkle a little of this on it if you want it to be kind of a, a little spicy because it tastes like, if you have Rocky Rococo, if you have Rocky Rococo in your town, it's a pizza place, boom, bam, this tastes just like it, just like Rocky Rococo. Once you dip it in the sauce, oh my God. But you can sprinkle um, crushed pepper, red peppers on it when you get through slicing it or before and then you could sprinkle basil on it before you put it in the micro and before you put it in the oven okay so i will put all the recipe in there you already seen that i put um the pizza crust chopped it up in the pan kind of like even it out chop up the, the pepperoni and then toss a little and then you put the cheese toss it a little and then you put more cheese, as much as cheese as you want. Um, it bakes for an, between 45 minutes to an hour it bakes. It depends, like I said, it depends on how the crust is laid in the pan. This here has more crust on the bottom, so it took a little longer. But um, that's about it. That's about it. I mean, I can probably just, let me cut a piece. I will cut it just to show you. Brats. Okay. And we'll cut this. The reason I'm digging in choice because the pepperoni. Alright. So did you see the cheese? Did you see the cheese? See? And this is what you're getting. This is what you're getting. And there's pepperoni all in, in the inside. As you cut it, you'll find more pepperoni. But yeah, this is what you get. And this is the cheese melted on it. So you see you got pepperoni all in the back. Probably when I tossed it, this is where it landed. So, mm-hmm. Mmm. Well, that's it. That's it. You can see how melted your cheese is in there. So, again, you can do it however you want to do it. When you bite into this, it's going to taste like Rocky Rococo, but I don't eat cheese. Here, honey. So, I don't eat cheese because honey will get this. So, there's a piece in here where it won't have cheese. Honey, come and get yours. All right, everybody, I'm going to get off here. Also, I want everybody to know I am on TikTok, and I will be doing videos on TikTok pretty soon, probably sometime next month. I'm going to start doing cooking videos on TikTok. So if you want to see me on TikTok, under my TikTok name, I'm under Mystery Bay Queen, M-Y-S-T-E-R-Y, B-A-G, Queen. Q-U-E-E-N, or Teresita Acosta, Teresita. I am under that name on, um, on my TikTok. Mystery Bay Queen or Teresita. All right? So, everybody, I am going to go. Yes, I'm going to take pictures of it and post it on. So, and I will also put the ingredients how i did it well you guys seen it was easy and simple but you must try this is a must try if you haven't tried anything of mine this is a must try P pizza crust pizza pizza crust pepperoni a little bit of butter and your pizza sauce and that's it oh my god if you've got rocky rococo in your neighborhood or in your town please come back on the live and tell me i was right it tastes just like Rocky Rococo, just like it, identical. All right, everybody, you have a good um, night. And I forgot to mention to everybody, Happy New Year's and Merry Christmas. I know I'm kind of late, but it's better late than um, never, okay? So you all have a wonderful evening, and God bless you, and stay safe.